Are you excited to learn how your application is managed in AWS and the services it provides? Then let us look at the services that manages our application resources known as CloudFormation. We know that AWS has many services, but managing those services manually consumes more time and resources. Instead, AWS helps us by controlling our services and resources through CloudFormation. Hi everyone and I welcome you all to this video on AWS CloudFormation. Today, we'll learn some of the use cases and other global aspects that are forecasted. So before we begin, please do like, share and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content on Edureka's YouTube channel. And also, check out Edureka's AWS DevOps Engineering Certificate course, the link to which is given in the description box below. So today, we'll be learning what is AWS CloudFormation, how does it works and use cases and we'll see the main components of AWS Cloud Formation that helps in our services and a hands-on session where we'll learn more about Cloud Formation and where we can create our stacks and implement in many different regions. What is AWS Cloud Formation? This is a service provided by AWS that helps you create and manage the resources so that you can spend less time managing those resources and more time focusing on your applications that runs in AWS. You have to create a template that describes all the resources you require and thus AWS CloudFormation will take care of managing and provisioning all the resources. AWS provides a CloudFormation designer for designing the templates where you can put all the resources. You can also define the dependencies of all the resources that are needed and you can also reuse your templates to replicate your infrastructure in multiple environment and region. So now let us see how AWS CloudFormation works. What it does is, it creates or uses an existing template where user application composer of your text editor to create or modify a cloud formation templates in JSON or YAML format. You can also choose a provided template where the cloud formation templates describes the resources you want at the settings. For example, suppose you want to create an EC2 instance. Next, we are going to save the template locally or in an Amazon S3 bucket if you created a template, then save it with a file extension like .json, .yml, or .txt. Next, create a cloud formation stack by specifying the location of a template file such as the path on your local computer or an Amazon S3 URL. If the template contains parameters, you can specify input values when you create the stack. Parameters allows you to pass in the values to your templates so that you can customize your resources each time you make a stack. You can create stacks by using the CloudFormation console, create stack API operation or create stack AWS CLI command. So this is how the CloudFormation works. So now let us see some of the use cases of CloudFormation. Infrastructure provisioning. So AWS CloudFormation provides infrastructure which means infrastructure has code. This process can be performed multiple times to get exact replica across all environment. Next, auto-scaling environment. The infrastructure provides using AWS CloudFormation will always be provisioned with scaling environment, which will help you scale up or scale down depending on the incoming load. Integration with services. You can also integrate the AWS CloudFormation with different services like Code Pipeline, Jenkins CI or CAD Pipeline, and so on, which will help automate the deployment. Deployment in multiple regions. You can manage the AWS Cloud Formation to deploy it in multiple regions, which will help you in disaster. So now let us see the main components of the Cloud Formation. There are two main components such as templates and stack. Templates. An AWS Cloud Formation template is a structured text file written in JSON or YAML format that defines the infrastructure and resources that needed to be deployed and managed application on AWS. It acts as a blueprint for provisioning AWS resources in a replicable and consistent manner using declarative syntax. Cloud formation templates with their efficiency enables automation of infrastructure deployment, allowing users to define dependencies, configurations, and relationship between resources in a scalable and efficient way, making developers more productive. The main object is used to create the templates or AWS template format versions, where this specifies the cloud formation template versions being used it is typically at the top of the template and defines the versions of the cloud formation template languages being used. Description. It provides an optional description of the templates. This helps document the purpose and the details of the cloud formation stack. Metadata. 
optional section that can include additional information about the template. Metadata can be used for documentation purpose or for other tools that are process cloud formation templates. Parameters it defines input that are passed to the templates when it is deployed. Parameters allows customization of resources, configuration at deployment time. Mapping allows you to define conditional mapping for input parameters to actual values. Mapping are useful when you have different configuration based on various conditions or environment. Conditions it specifies condition that provides you with full control over whether certain resources are created or how they are configured. Condition can be intrinsic function and parameters to define the logic, ensuring a secure and controlled deployment. Resources defines the AWS resources that will be created or modified by the cloud formation stack. Each resources is defined by its type and other attributes. Next is stack. In AWS cloud formation, a stack refers to a collection of AWS resources that are created, uploaded, and deleted together as a single unit. A stack is defined by a cloud formation template which specifies the resources and their configuration. The many types of stacks. The main types of the stacks are main stack. A main stack is a primary cloud formation stack created directly from a template. It can include various AWS resources defined within the template and manage their lifecycle. Nested stack. Nested stack are the cloud formation stack that are referred within another cloud formation template as resources. They allow you to break down complex applications or infrastructure into smaller reusable unit. Nested stack improves the organization, modularity, and reusability of cloud formation templates by encapsulation groups of resources that logically belongs together. They can be updated and managed independently while being part of a larger stack. Chain set. While not exactly a type of stack, chain set are a mechanism in cloud formation that allows you to preview changes to your AWS infrastructure before implementing them. Chain set shows you how proposed changes to a stack and would impact your resources while helping you to understand the scope and impact of updates. They are particularly useful for reviewing potential updates to maintain or nested stack before applying them to ensure they meet your requirements. So now let us see a demo on how we can create a stack in cloud formation that manages our resources using the template for our applications. So before that, we'll see a sample template which we'll be using to create a stack. As you can see that this is a sample template which we'll be using to create a stack. So basically it contains the AWS template format version and it contains resources where it will be having audit tables and other properties of the table such as author name, book titles, etc. It also has a key schema which specifies author name with a key type as hash and book title has a key type of range. And it uses live specification to know the time expiration of the stack when we create and when we want to delete the stack. And we use uh, different uh, policies. Here we are using Dynamo DB query policies where we'll be using IAM rules which specifies IAM rules in the DynamoDB query policy. When we are creating a stack, database that we're creating in a stack will be stored in DynamoDB and which will help us to know the difference or changes that we made in template to show in the database. So now let us uh, create a stack. So as you can see that I have recently opened the cloud formation. If you want to open the cloud formation, you can directly search in search button as cloud formation. So click on cloud formation. So as you can see that AWS console opens a AWS cloud formation services where there is an option called as create stack. So when we click on create stack, there will be three options to create a stack using three different methods of templates. First, we can choose an existing template that we have already seen before. And we can use a sample template which will be already present in the AWS services. Or else we can build a AWS template from the scratch where we can specify our design and all other things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose an existing template. So I'm directly going to upload a template file from the template that I have been shown you before. So I'm, I'm going to choose the file. So this file can be in any format. It can be in JSON, YAML, TXT, text format. So I'm going to click on a file called as temp where there will be templates. So after getting uploaded, 
you can get an S3 URL which confirms that there is no error in your templates. And if there are any error, it specifies here. So after that, if you want to know how your application composer looks, you can go through this and you can see the application composer. Or if you can directly click on next. After clicking on next, a page appears where you have to specify your stack name so that you can create your stack. So I'm going to specify Dynamo DB demo as my stack name. If you want to define the parameters, it is up to you. You can define it or you can click on next. So after clicking on next, there are two options here, tags and permission options. In tags, you can specify particular tags for the IAM role to access or else you can give the tag so that your templates looks well organized enough or else uh, there are many other options you can use it is up to you there is a, another option called as permission optional here you have to specify IAM role if you are IAM user as you can see that I am a route user so I doesn't need to specify the IAM role so these are the advanced options so, so make it as default and click on next so next there is a page appearing with reviews and create so you can basically create your templates or provide a stack name or parameter give a tag name give certain permission to your tag name and parameters that you're creating if you're creating then there are other options like stack policies and all and when you scroll down there is an option called as i acknowledge the aws cloud formation to create iam resources as you can see that before i didn't allow it to create an iam resource so it is asking a permission for us to create an IAM resource. So I'll click on that. Then click on submit. As you can see that our stack is in progress. It's creating. So it may take some time. So better be patient and keep on refreshing until it shows us it is completely created. So as you can see that the order table query role is still in progress. And you can see that order query table is created completely. And next, they are creating uh, for Dynamo DB query policy. So it is still in progress. Please be patient. As you can see, that the Dynamo DB query policy is also created completely. Next, they are creating order tables. Make sure that you refresh it correct to create the stack completely. So as you can see, that the order table is also created and the stack Dynamo DB demo is finally created. So now, what we are going to do is we are going to Dynamo DB service where we'll be assuming uh, or we'll check whether there is an database created in the DynamoDB. So let me type Dynamo, search DynamoDB, DynamoDB. So as you can see, it appears, click on that. So when you go to DynamoDB, you can see this has a dashboard. So on the left side, you can see there is an option called as tables. Please click on that. So after clicking on the tables, you can see that our table, authors table is created a database is created here where we are giving the reading capacity as 5 and writing capacity as 5 so this is how the stack works when we create a stack a database is created in dynamo db and this is how it looks so now what we are going to do is we are going again back to cloud formation so what i am going to do here is as you can see the creation is completed so what i am going to do is i am going to update here so before updating I am going to make some changes in the templates. So what I am going to do here is there is a reading capacity unit of 5. So I am changing it to 10 and saving this. After saving this, so you have to go to stack actions. There is an option called as create change set for current stack. Click on that to update or create your stack. So again, after that, there will be a three option where you can use the existing template. You can use the replace existing template and that means that when there is a changes made in a template you can replace it with the current template or you can edit in application composer so what i'm going to do here is replace the existing template so i'm going to upload the template that i have changed now so i'll choose a template as you can see that the template is uploaded and there is no error so click on next so this is the overview to make sure that the change set name is here and if you want to specify why you are changing for your reference, you can specify it or else you can leave it blank. Then uh, after that, there is, you can click on repeat. After that, you can click on next. So these are the same settings uh, that we have done when we are going to create that stack. So make sure that there is no any changes uh, while you are changing or updating your stack. Click on next. Same.
Again, you have to give and acknowledge that you are allowing the AWS Cloud Formation to create IAM resources. Then click on submit. As you can see, that the stack is updated completely, and here it shows as modified audit table. You can see the details here of the author table prod. It is modified. It shows the option as modified. Now what we are going to do is we are going to execute the chain set. So the, at the right side of the top corner, there is an option called as execute chain set. Click on that. They'll ask for the permission if you want to make any changes in the settings. I'm not going to make any changes. I'll make it as default and execute the chain set. So as you can see that there is an option coming here to known as update in progress. So your data set will be updated here or a template that you have changed will be updated here. And this may take some time. So please be patient and make sure to refresh it. As you can see that the update is completed. So this is what we can do by using update option where we can change our update in templates and make sure that those updates are there in our stack and it is useful to create our resources. So if you want to know if that is updated or not, go to DynamoDB, go to tables. So as you can see that the reading capacity mode, it was five before as I have changed or updated in the template, it is also changed here. So this is a difference when we use a stack or update or create a stack. Now we have seen how to create a stack, how to update a stack. Now let's go to cloud formation again. See, even here also it shows us it is updated completely. So now what I'm going to show is we have seen how to create a stack, how to update a stack. Now the last one is how to delete a stack. This is a very simple option. As you can see that there is an option called as delete option. When you click on it, it will ask your permission whether you want to delete it permanently because it cannot be undone. So before you delete it, make sure that you have a copy of it. And if the data is not so important, you make sure that you delete it or else you make a copy of it. So I'm going to delete this. So you can see that here it shows us delete in progress. The status is delete in progress. So when I refresh it, it may take some time to delete the stack. So please be patient and refresh again. This may take some time. So please be patient. As you can see that the delete is completed. So when we refresh this stack, so there will be no stack. So there will be an option to create a new stack. So this is how we can create a stack, update a stack and delete a stack by using cloud formation. This is mainly to help our applications when we use many services together. It saves our time and resources also. So now we have come to an end of this video where AWS Cloud Formation Streamlines has AWS resource management to our declarative templates. Automating infrastructure provisioning with scalability and consistency. It supports modular deployment with nested stack and chain sets for controlled updates, enhancing efficiency and resources utilizing in cloud environment. To know more about this video, visit our course, the link to which is given in the description box below now. With this, we have come to the end of this video on AWS CloudFormation tutorial. I hope you like this video. Thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!